And well, three scientists have been awarded with the Nobel Peace Prize this time for physics for their work on gravitational force. Rainer Wies, Barry C. Barish and Kip S. Thorne won the award for their experiment, which was called LIGO experiment, that made the first historic observation of gravitational waves in September of 2015. The trio joined... Uh, rarefied group that counts Albert Einstein, Marie Curie and Niels Bohr as its members. Physics is the second uh, of this year's crop of Nobel Prizes and comes after Americans Jeffrey Hall, Michael Rosbash and Michael Young were awarded with the prize for medicine yesterday. And tracking other news now, a high alert has been sounded off near Mount Agung volcano in Bali. Following a sudden increase in tremors, the va volcano had erupted in 1963, killing over a thousand people. Here's the very latest. Officials are still keeping a close eye on the Mount Agung volcano in Bali more than a week after its alert level was uh, raised to the highest. There are some signs emerging that uh, the, the activity in the volcano may be calming a bit. The number of tremors, hundreds a day, has plateaued, so not increasing, and that is seen as a positive sign, but still not enough to declare that the risk uh, has, has faded or has fallen. Uh, a state of emergency has been declared in the province of Bali by its governor, and the main purpose of that is to allow uh, district district governments to uh, disperse funds that are needed uh, for supporting the more than 140,000 people that have left the, the area of the volcano and are sheltering in temporary camps and in sports halls and uh, in temples. Criticism for Trump administration's response to Hurricane Maria. Donald Trump and the First Lady Melania Trump will travel to Puerto Rico and visit individuals impacted by the disaster. Trump's uh, visiting uh, there, uh, we understand they will receive a briefing on Hurricane Maria relief efforts. Puerto Ricans are still struggling without water or electricity and they're facing acute food shortages as well. This almost three weeks after Hurricane Maria made landfall in the region on the 20th of September.